So, East vs West qualifier recap. Um, going in, I had some aspects of my game that were the best that ever been. But I can't say that the prep was ideal. Um, having to go on honeymoon and getting back just three weeks out uh, wasn't ideal in terms of training. Um, I did get food poisoning. Also not, <laughs> not the most ideal. Lost a few kilos from that. And then um, getting COVID one week out um, wasn't the best. So although I did manage to get some PBs, PRs and um, some aspects of, of my game, particularly kind of top knuckle pronation, rising pronation, um, a lot of the arm power I found on the day was lacking. Um, and in the lead up, I did note that um, bicep power was down probably in the realm of 15%. Um, I wasn't too worried though because, for example, it was it was a somewhat similar story going into nationals, and I was actually freaking out a little bit going into nationals that I wasn't where I should be, but it all worked out, and I, I was in the right kind of ballpark at nationals. Um, but I think my arm power dropped maybe a little bit more going into this one to the point it, it was no longer viable in the class, especially going up to 85 kilos over 80 kilos. I really needed a little bit more um, just general power. So, yeah, lesson learned. Um, definitely don't go too arm wrestling specific. Like, to, like you know, because all of importance in arm wrestling is from the tip of your hand down, right? Like, the, the further you can apply your force at the end of your hand theoretically the better you're going to do on the table because that that force is multiplied by your leverage away from your arm from your shoulder um, so if you can apply your force at the very very tip of your hand um, it generally speaking is more effective um, than if you're just trying to do like a, a, a dumb bicep curl and leaving your hand behind but you definitely still need arm power to back yourself up so that'll be my main takeaway i need a i need to increase that going forwards i need to put in a lot more work with that because i've focused a little bit too much on arm wrestling specifics um and i need some proper programming because up to this point i've been kind of doing it by feel i kind of go through phases of here's a volume phase um here's a block of strength and then a um, small peaking period prior to a comp going trying to go heavy before then taper uh, but I haven't really written down a plan um, and I've been meaning to for ages um, and I just haven't because I've been busy and, and you know, no excuses, I just haven't. Um, so I've decided to jump on a program written by Mario. Um, he's eventually going to make these programs um, available kind of to the public for a price. Um, so if you're wanting some coaching, um, definitely hit up Mario because as one of the top in Australia, his wealth of knowledge, he, he's, he's got about eight years of experience in the sport. So I would love to be um, in his training program. It'll, I think it'll be a valuable experience. It'll teach me a lot. Um, I've done one week of it so far and oh my God, it's brutal. The, the, the volume of stuff is insane. Like I'm having to get so much more productive with my workouts to be, to be able to even get through the whole thing. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an experience, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so next up we've got uh, New South Wales champs uh, coming up in mid-July. That'll be the next kind of big target. Um, a little bit closer to home this weekend, we've got a um, Newcastle amateur tournament. So that's for anyone outside the top 10 of the New South Wales rankings. Um, there's a little bit more leeway for the under 70s because there's less people in the under 70s So I think it's only if you're in the top five that you're not allowed um, And any woman can come because we need as many women um, involved as possible So yeah, that's this weekend. So if you're coming um, Looking forward to seeing you and if you didn't know about it, um, come grab a ticket I'll put the links in the description um, Just note you do have to get a club membership first. That's just for insurance purposes it's only like five, five or six dollars, I think, after fees, and then um, you can go ahead and buy your tournament ticket, which is um, pretty affordable too. So the the whole price should be less than what you typically pay for a tournament, um, since it's supposed to be like an entry level amateur one. 
So yeah, look, very much looking forward to this weekend, guys. Um, stay strong and um, just keep improving. It, it doesn't matter um, if you don't hit your goals where you want to. Um, you just got to take your lessons away and keep moving forward.